By the 1800s, the United States of America became interested in expanding their territory. After developing into the West Coast, they began looking to Asia for further economic expansion. Some of America's Asian trading partners would play a major role in the country's future, including Japan. Matthew C. Perry's 1853 expedition to open Japan from over 200 years of isolation impacted much of the world and has had a long-lasting impact on the global economy. The exchange of the nations introduced many new goods and ideas and helped shape the modern era. Before the Americans became interested in Asia, Japan already had experience with Europeans. In the 1600s, missionaries from the Netherlands and other Western nations went to Japan to spread Christianity. However, the shogun Hideyoshi opposed the Europeans and closed most foreign trade. The next two centuries became known as the Tokugawa period. Only the Chinese and Dutch were allowed to trade, and could only stay in the ports for a limited amount of time. 200 years later, Americans had expanded to the West Coast as a result of the Mexican-American War. As they could not expand anymore territorially, the government became interested in economic opportunities in Asia. The United States was involved in the Opium Wars, which resulted in trade in China, and reinforced the growing focus in Asia. Later, when the American whaling industry expanded throughout the Pacific Ocean, sailors began to shipwreck in Japan and were taken as prisoners by the government. To free the prisoners and to see what economic value was available, President Millard Fillmore sent Commodore Matthew C. Perry, who had fought in the Mexican-American War, on an expedition to Japan. Perry's official objective in Japan was to free the sailors and develop friendly relations, but he was also asked to explore the country's economic opportunities. What would result from the expedition would impact the world's economy in many far-reaching ways. When Perry's crew landed in Japan, they were surprised by the Japanese people. Many soldiers were waiting for them at the port. The Americans tried a peaceful approach by not bringing their battleship and honoring the Japanese people. Perry was initially denied from entering into the country, but eventually let in to see the emperor. While seeing Emperor Kome, Perry presented many gifts from the United States, meant to show Japan what advances the Americans had to trade. These included a telegraph, a printing press, and a model of a steam train. Though a lot of people wanted to trade with America, some of the Japanese people opposed the idea of trade, wanting to hold off on a treaty to buy enough time to build up their military. Soon, enough diplomats agreed to sign the treaty, and the Japanese ports such as Nagasaki and eventually the capital, Edo, were open to the outside world. Part of the treaty, designed to keep the deal fair, allowed both countries to send diplomats to reside in the other to mediate relations and keep peace. However, not all conditions of the treaty were mutually positive. Trade in Japan was unequal to other countries, giving them an import tariff that they couldn't control until 1911. Another questionable effect was how the sudden modernization affected the Japanese society. Many were opposed to the new technology, creating a massive societal split. Soon after the ports of Japan were opened, the divide in Japanese society and culture led to a revolution known as the Meiji Restoration, a violent conflict over the ways of Japan government. In America, most economic effects of the treaty were positive, introducing new goods from Asia and giving American businesses new economic success. Trade with Japan continues to be a major part of technological advancement in the present. Commodore Perry is still remembered too, though not as widely as other figures. Perry's contribution to economic advancement is honored, even getting a monument in 1901, 48 years after his landing. While Matthew Perry is seen as an invader in some places, similar to Christopher Columbus, his legacy stands as a reminder of the cooperation between the United States and Japan and what effects it had on the modern world.